Speaking of your portfolio, you also announced a restructuring, a streamlining, some would say. Uh, what was the point of that? And I know that there were people who um, you let go, and I'm trying to figure out whether that was anything to do with a weaker economy or just because you want a stronger SAP. I mean, first, when, when, when we reported earnings today, we have a booming cloud business. Our current cloud backlog is now at 12 billion, growing 24%. We are giving a strong guidance for next year. We want to grow our cloud business by another 25 percent. So the business is in a really good shape. So why restructuring? Because we are winning in our core portfolio. We are winning in ERP. We are winning in supply chain. And there are other areas of portfolio where we say, hey, let's rather shift and lift and shift our investments to this core to further expand our market share, to further increase the competitiveness of SAP to make sure that not only in 2023, but also in the years ahead, we see super high growth in the cloud. Okay, so is uh, Qualtrics part of the reorganization? They're friends of the show. We've had them on a number of times. We think their company is great. Maybe it just didn't fit in with the core portfolio, and that's why you're uh, willing to look at, at selling the rest of it? Yeah, look, uh, Sick and Wine, they are running a great company, and Qualtrics is a great product. We have a great partnership. I mean, since the acquisition of Qualtrics, we tripled their sales. Right. But uh, since the IPO of Qualtrics, actually the three of us also figured out, hey, maybe there is a potential sale of you know, SAP selling its shares in Qualtrics because what we are doing today, we can also continue to do while we can significantly enhance the value for our shareholders. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.